it seems to me now that you can finally smell the roses, really. I mean, regardless of the album's doing fine and, and the stadiums are going to be full and Wembley said himself, you're okay. But, you know, you really are. Um, what have been the highlights? Obviously, Nebworth we won. But what, of the whole thing? Everything, yeah. Uh, we've started at the beginning. Um, meeting Alan McGee. Writing, writing the song Live Forever. I remember the night I wrote it and I put the guitar down and I just thought, well, this is it now. Yeah. From the point I wrote that song, it seemed that every song I was writing was just fucking brilliant. So there was that. Um, getting phoned up one afternoon. It's only 25, been told I was a millionaire. Yeah. You know, little things like that. Uh, Recording Morning Glory in two weeks for about 65 grand and it's selling 12 million. Uh, playing Madison Square Gardens, playing Main Road, playing Nebworth. Um, just, you know, all of it. When I look back, I think, you know, a lot of people slag us off for a lot of things, but, you know, we came fucking that close, man, to being, you know, to being as big as the Beatles. It was only that close. If we'd have put out a decent third album, you know, say if this was our third album, I think you'd have been talking about major league fucking rock and roll stars, man. But, you know, shit happens and we lost the momentum. A lot of things got in the way with drugs and booze and stuff like that. In, in band fighting, fucking bullshit, you know, record company bullshit. But at least I can look back and I can, you know, I can look any musician in the eye and say, how close did you get? You didn't even get from here. So as far as you can fucking see away. But I came that close, man. And it was scary. It was scary to think, man, that, you know, we played 125,000 people two nights on the trot. How fucking bizarre is that? You know, when I think about it now, it's just... And we didn't give a shit. You know, we turned up there fucking just pissed at ass. Show me the stage, I'll go and play. Like, if I'm playing to 25,000 people, I get nervous now. Do you know what I mean? We didn't give a fuck. Um, I think I look back on it and, and, and think it's a good job that we didn't give a fuck because we probably have more grey hairs than I've actually got now. You know, we just didn't give a fuck. You know, but you know, we've, like I say, we've done our bit, man. We've done our bit. The Smith's done their bit, the Rosie's done their bit, the Sex Pistols done their bit, the Jam's done their bit, and the Beatles done their bit. Who else is going to do their bit? I don't fucking see it at the moment. You know, I think we should just be left alone now to make some great music and just grow all gracefully. Whereas, you know, people, I think people in England will always want us to be Liam and Noel, fucking Ian, who fucking wants it, cunt face, you know. Um, but I'm 32, you know, by the next time I put out a record, I'm going to be 35. I just people just let me get on with fucking, you know, just being a man, I'm not a boy no more. Um, you know, I'm good at what I do, let's just leave it at that. I was great. I might be great again, who knows.